What's up, everybody? Big Kirk 916, getting down fresh out. You know how we do it over here. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, represent, and go to freshoutseries.com and pick you up some merch. I'm here with my man, True Lane Waves, and, you know, we kicking it. He a, 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 a cutty from Oakland, you know, partner from Oakland, you know, the homie from Oakland. Hmm. And, uh, you know, we chopping it up. And I was just telling him about, uh, you know, about this, this female and there's, you know, there's a bunch of dating uh, platforms out there. And she was talking about like, you know, high valued men. And she was saying uh, she had a body count of like 130, but they all had condoms on. So the body count doesn't count. And, he, you know, we were saying, I don't think the, the condom really made a difference because he still took them down. Mm. You know, what do you think about like, you know, the women these days, you know, with the dating and relationships and, and, you know, I, I know a lot of guys when I tell them, I say, hey, man, we used to spit games like, Herc, you can't talk to girls like that no more. And and because sexual sexuality and sex has become monetized, but it's like, OK, if your whole value is your coochie, what mm. else is what else you bring to the table? I mean, is there no intellect involved anymore? It's just the fact that you're balling because you're getting a bag by. You know, and I'm not knocking a sex worker, but I'm just saying long term, mm -hmm. how does that add up with, with, with quality relationships with men who have maybe worked hard to get to where they're at? And mm -hmm. now you have this female and she's made her bag, but now she wants to transition over to a quality man. But she's got a, you know, a, a crazy body count. And she's kind of like just giving herself away like that. Well, uh, see, um, right now in 2024, most of us have uh, been desensitized to these stories like a woman with 130 body counts because what they'll say is well she's free to do whatever she wants you can't judge her she's a woman but again she may want a higher a, a higher value man she may want a man of high status but if he knows that she's disqualified everything um everything became so transactional like i meet women and the first thing they want to say is basically what they get out of it i want to go here i expect this so i met a girl recently and stuff and she had on like this um hermes Chan hermes purse and this i um i just asked her for her instagram page i go to her instagram page and she has all of this designer stuff on and everything like living the high life so um we go hang out and she tells me like um you know i was fly when you met me so i expect you to keep me fly I didn't even get a chance to ask her her body count, but what it's telling me is she's been hanging with some bosses or some high level dudes and I would have to keep up with that. I decided to opt out. I'm not signing up for something that I know might not have a future yeah. and that's going to be strictly transactional. Yeah. So to me, I heard another woman say she had 35 men that she's experienced with and men were going after her still. So like, I guess men don't care. Women don't care. We've been programmed to take whatever we get. But for me, I want what I want and I'm not compromising. It's non-negotiable, man. My woman is for me and I'm for her. So when I was younger, I was chasing women. And you know, when you hustling, you kind of get the pick of the litter. Women looked up to hustlers, trappers, because they felt like they had more freedom and more liberty. So they might run through six, eight of them. You saw it over there in SAC. You saw it in the Bay of Frisco and when you was running around. They going to get with where they feel like they have the best opportunity to be whatever they want to be, not what they can actually bring to the table. Because look, women don't even come in now talking about, I bet you don't know how good I can cook. They come know, in talking about, yeah. where you going to take me? Yeah, yeah. I'm like, where am I going to yeah. take you? I thought you was going to cook and make me a couple little vittles and something. Nah, we don't, I don't do that. Your mom can do that for you. Wow. So our, our pool is slimmer. And then you will, like me, for instance, I have somebody now and I'm dealing with her, her specifically. However, if I was out there, I'd be kind of shook with a woman talking about 130 body count, man. And then she still can get somebody. But it, I mean, how, how valid is it? How long can that last? Do you think men still value those old qualities as far as like the cooking, the cleaning? Because, you know, I, I, I've seen some of these women and you see, like you said, their social media and you thinking, oh man, you know, she's bad, this and that. And you go to her house, bro. It's old panties throwing oh, in the man. thing. You go in the bathroom. She ain't. Filthy. She got old like uh, 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 women women products in a trash can. Mm -hmm. It's just nasty, bro. It's like the, the <laughs> tub is dirty. It's like these women. Yeah, they might be hot. You're thinking this and that, but as far as just them and their person, dude, it, it ain't. You know, it's, it's they're they're kind of ratchet. 
man, they really ratchet, man. Sometimes it's not even worth to entertain those kind of women. You know why? You'll get what you you'll get what you ask for because yeah, you yeah. go after the baddie. What you mean? Them panties look like they've been there a week, man. You didn't wash your dick. <clears throat> You didn't wash your dishes before you invited me over. What kind of woman are you? Yeah. My mom wouldn't even want me around yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Here it is that uh, a lot of these women, they, they look at you and they see the bag. If they see the bag, they'll do what they can. But I value those. Tr I, 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 I honestly honor those traditional values, like a woman that can cook, a woman that's nutrient. Like I'm knowing I'm, I, I know I'm going to come home to a clean house. I do not want to mess with no woman that's telling me she's not doing nothing. And I'm the, she's the gift to me. So if she's the gift to me and that's all I get is just you, I don't know. I think I need a, I think I need a little bit more than that. I think I don't want to bargain for that. What, what about the brother who just got caught up from Hollywood? What's his name? You know what I'm talking about? The dude who just who played uh, in Creed? Oh yeah, man, he fell hard. But did he you fell did you hard. did you did you see he was running from her? At one point they showed him get out the the uh, uh, I think it was the, the Escalade. They were getting a ride home mm -hmm. and I don't know if she tried to look at his phone or something. And he took off running. She ran. He ran like two or three blocks. She was running after him. Mm. But yet she said he has later assaulted her. And I'm, I'm seeing and I've seen some other videos. Some dude, the girl, you and she's slapping him and doing this. And you're like, he's blocking. And but like what do this is another thing. You don't realize if you're a black man or even if you're a white man, mm -hmm. dude, you have to be able at one point you, you have to call. You got to put on camera. Oh, and yeah. record it because they're the guy, the guy from uh, he's played for the Dodgers too. Same thing. The girl said, uh, it, it, I forgot his name. You guys, you guys leave it in the comments. But a, he was a pitcher, mm -hmm. he's about to sign a 120 million dollar contract. The girl got at him, and then she texted her girl, Girl, guess who I got? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that bag. She later on said that he assaulted her, mm -hmm. did something rough sex, whatever, and if it wasn't for the text and the other stuff that she set him up, and basically he, the Dodger dropped him. He's playing baseball now, I think, in Japan. Wow. Luckily, he got all the texts. He went out and spoke about it. Nothing happened to her. No jail, no nothing. Mm -hmm. But it ruined this guy. Just like the brother from Creed, now he, you know, women like him, glad he stood up. Man, some of these, and I'm not saying, but some of these women, when they see you are the bag, Man, they'll make up. It's like that mo movie from Lauren Lawrence. Remember Thin Line Between Love and Hate? Oh, How she made it look like she beat him. And mm -hmm. man, you have to be careful. It, 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 and you don't even have to be a big guy. If she said you put your hands on her, you're, you're going down. Mm -hmm. I mean, literally, I mean, they can make it seem like you, you, you somehow grabbed her neck. She got a scratch or oh, yeah. you grabbed her elbow. Um, I knew a guy. He called me one time. Big Hurt, come over here, man. She's uh she's breaking shit. She's throwing shit. I said, dude, I'm not coming over there. Hell Two nah. Negroes in the same house. Hell no. Nah. The cops come. <laughs> it's going bad. It's going bad. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, what would you tell guys who are dealing with a crazy like that that could possibly get you caught up? You know, I mean, that that that, you know, they they put you in a compromised position. I mean, it, it's scary, bro. I mean, you know, when you're dealing with a woman and, you know, nobody wants to get caught up and lose their freedom um, over a bad relationship. Oh, yeah, I think it's about using your best discernment because here it is. Uh, <clears throat> we know we want to have a good time with these women, but sometimes the good, the best time woman is not the best for you. So I, with me, I kind of use, um, um, I would rather use uh, introduction from somebody in common, but that doesn't always work either. However, I would say use your best discernment know what you're getting into don't just jump in it full fledged either you get get to know this woman you may see some signs of crazy you may see a couple of like aggression temper tantrums mm -hmm. over drinking maybe uh how how she treats her mother and her children because if you don't dodge that you're the next victim and you'll lose more than the bag sometimes you're gonna lose your freedom man jail stank it's dirty. It ain't cool. And men in jail, they don't look too kindly at dudes who beat women. So you might have even been in the in the, in the, in the right, but you have to show the paperwork to prove it. Cause her voice will overpower yours if she say you beat her. You know what I mean? And if she has any bruises, you might still not have did it, but get a, convicted of doing it. Another thing you gotta watch out for is a woman who keeps everything. I remember this one female. She had a bunch of like genes and uh, multiple animals and, and that means she has an attachment thing so when you try to break off mm. she ain't letting go she ain't letting, she letting go, go. Oh, wow. you know what i mean mm -hmm. th th this 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 situation and man at one point like i remember uh pretending to be sleeping mm. and then went through my passcode book got into my gmail Ooh. emailed everybody 
Wow. Locked it down. Changed all my passwords. Bro, terrorize me. Wow. Wow. Either you're going to see me or else you'll Damn. never get your emails again. Damn. Dude, I had to forfeit all that. You had it to was, forfeit all the good contacts? Dude, people were emailing me. Somebody's, who, who is this? Who is this person? Mm -hmm. Dude, I was terrified. Wow. <laughs> you know, because if I would have saw, who knows what I've been walking into. Yep. But basically, like emails I had built up over a couple of years, dude, I lost them all. I lost them all. You know, passwords, mm -hmm. all kind of stuff got changed. So you guys, man, I'm just saying, be careful, man. And I'm not saying they can't be men doing the same thing. But when you see like, I, I mean, to me, it's like, it, I'm not going to go through somebody's shit and do all that. But some oh, people, no. they'll go through, like I said, literally change all your passwords mm -hmm. and, and, and then go back and email hundreds of people? Mm -hmm. Know who you're dealing with. I have to know who I'm dealing with again because, look, I mean, in the social media area, they call it clout. A woman would play you out for some clout, man. I mean, once you make a name for yourself. So, so this is what I'm going to tell the younger guys. I'm in my mid-40s right now, and I've been through a lot. I used to chase women, party, stand on couches, pop bottles. I did all of that stuff. So it brought a variety of women in my life. But what I would tell the younger guys is this. Know who you're dealing with. Build yourself up enough where women kind of like have to prove themselves before they can get in your presence because you can always screen them out. You don't need to be trying to sweat women. Excuse me. You don't need to be trying to sweat women and prove how great you are to them like they're doing you a favor. Go become so great. Go build yourself up so when they do come around you, they know they have to be on a certain level. They know they have to be on a certain standard and they have to be in pocket. If they prove and show that they're out of pocket or they're moving wrong, dismiss them without having to ever look back. Because if you take them back after any sign of crazy, you almost ask for it. I mean, having game or having knowledge is the best thing you can have, but then you have to use it. So don't just think because she's pretty, she's sexy, she smell good, or it might have good sex that you have to keep her. You don't. Don't put yourself in a compromising position, man. I advise anybody on to come up that's trying to be somewhere that they're not in life, man. Focus on you and then let the women who really are for you be that one. I mean, because it's way more of them than it is of us. I'm not saying go be super arrogant, but you have a choice. Make your decision wisely. <clears throat> And adding to that is go back and look through her social media. If mm. every picture she's thirsty, oh, yeah. you know, putting her coochie out, <laughs> booty out, twerking, oh, yeah. every the pool party, the the yacht party, this you're like, damn, she out there. So obviously, yes. if she's out there that much and she's single, that's what you're getting. That's that tells you something that's ain't right. What you, get. you know what mm -hmm. I mean? So you got to really pay attention to the signs and don't like if somebody's that thirsty, it, it, it's not a good sign. Mm -hmm. Starting off, that social media is the new resume. That's almost a portfolio. Yeah. I mean, she's standing on couches popping bottles on yachts. I mean, you might not want to wife her. Yeah, you might yeah. not want to, man, because if you're not going to keep her right there at that level, she will go search for that outside of you. Yeah. I mean, where's the loyalty? Where's the honor? I mean, I found out that 25% of women cheat, but about 28% men, 28 of men cheat, but it's way more of them. So you're likely to get one of those women that don't mind stepping out on you for her own selfish desires. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? She may step out there on you, but it's up to you if you choose to take her back or not. Me, I'm not. That's It's over with. You're going to be staying in the streets. Do you, do, do, do you think that uh, some of these guys who, you know, find some of these uh, OnlyFans girls and they think, oh, man, you know, uh, I'm going to try to, uh, you know, wife her up and, th you know, or she can change. Or do you think, like, you know, a lot of these guys, the reality is some women – or for the streets, oh, for yeah. everybody. For and then everybody. there's some certain women, like, you know, you find them maybe shopping by themselves at Sprouts. Oh, yeah. Maybe in, in Ralph's. Whole or Foods. Your Whole Foods. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Them the ones, they're not, they don't have a big social media. Mm -hmm. They maybe they're there with their friends every now and then, but they're not, like, you're not seeing a bunch of nudity before you actually get with her. You know what I mean? Because you're seeing all this stuff, all these different shots, and she's put it out there for the world. You're like, damn, well, then what's left for you? A lot of a lot of guys want popular girls though. Instagram models are winning, but not wife material. Not wife see what I'm material. saying? They want them, not wife but it's material. not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a Have difference. fun, but then again, it's easy to trap a, a, a young a younger man who feels like he may not have experienced that. Even an older guy, if you haven't experienced that and it's so much fun that you you can't stop. You, you can't get enough of it, you'll go back to it. You'll go back to it almost every time. Now, man. do those girls think that they're really going to get a quality man in the back of their mind? Do they really believe that the guys that 
that they're going to take him serious? Do you think they really believe that? I mean, the girls that you ran across, do they believe in that or do mm. they? <clears throat> the ones I, the ones I've ran across seem to live in delusion enough where they do think they can get <laughs> a quality man. Yeah, yeah. They live in enough delusion where they're like, well, what's wrong with me? Wait, all the homies know about you. I mean, I walk into a party with you. They're going to tell me how good you are, man. Who wants, to, man, yeah. I don't want to walk in the party and a dude tell me, oh, she go crazy. She got that fire. Man, I'm cool on that, man. But they believe we should overlook that. Now, what Why about, are you judging? Why are you about, judging? What, what about this quote? Because I heard uh, like Amber Rose say something one time, and she's like, every woman should at one point have worked in a strip club, and you know, it should be all right because you know, uh, you know, mommy's getting the, she's got to you know pay the bills and get the bag. But like then the flip side, you got the other woman said, well, I went to school and I got a job and I still paid my bills, mm -hmm. but I didn't have to go. I didn't, it's not like I needed a Louis Vuitton bag oh, yeah. to oh, yeah. make me, so I still got a bag that might not be Louis Vuitton. But the trade-off, so a lot of women, I don't think they really weigh the trade-off because why would should every woman have to work in a strip club? That's so misleading, man. It's no generalized statement that goes for everybody. You know what I mean? Like, she's saying that don't even know how much damage she could be doing to younger women that have no direction or no guidance because that's absolutely some BS because, listen, women that never took that route had a much better chance of finding a husband. That's so right. much, so right. many more of women that didn't go to the strip club are married. What is Amber Rose doing these days? Didn't her dude leave her for share? Yeah, yeah, her yeah. Dude yeah left for, her for share. Yeah, share, share, share what? Seventy. Share seventy. This dude is from Oakland. Oh wow. He's in his thirties, and he over there winning with share. We won't want no advice from what? you, Amber Rose. <laughs> Amber Rose, we don't want no oh. advice from you, man. Your guy is with share, man. Stop misleading the people. Right, but anyway, right, but nah, yeah. real talk. Um, that's like me telling everybody they have to find their way through prison. No, you don't. Yeah, 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 don't yeah. choose the route I chose. That's man. right. That's right. You Same can go thing. a whole Same nother thing. route and be successful. I mean, I became successful, but it was a hard road. I mean, if I could have skipped all of the drug dealing, the prison, the financial crimes, and just went directly to a person that could tell me, take this road, man. Here's a blueprint to success. It's going to take seven years, but you will be successful. I did close to 13 in prison. I did almost 13 well, in prison. Well, I, I, I say the same thing, man. I said, um, you know, you, you don't have to have been to prison to be somebody. You, you know, know, it's almost like some of them, you know, these rappers, oh, you're not somebody unless you have a body. Oh, yeah. Hey, you know, you hear that, man? I hate that. Dude, how I stupid is that, that? man. You know, you're nobody if you don't have a body. Or you only have a couple bodies. They'll say, like, you only got one body or you only got two bodies, so you weak or you a mark or I hate that because Dude, that's it, disgusting, man. it's young guys that believe it. Yeah, I know. And I know. It, and unfortunately, guns are so easy to obtain. Well, they get ghost guns now. So, I mean, what? Ghost guns are everywhere. I'm talking about everywhere, man. And you, you, you can get them like this for 200 bucks. You can get them so quick. So, again, you give a low level thinker a weapon that might be going through depression, that might not be having the best day, week, or the best year, he's more likely to bust that gun than somebody that's logical and sensible that will choose only to use it in defensive, a defensive situation. I mentioned to you earlier, last year I got shot in a botched robbery. Two dudes, black dudes, I never think of my dudes as scandalous or shady. They're approaching me. They're both coming at one time. I greet them, what's up? Where are you at? I was in Oakland. Oh, shit. They was like, let me get the watch. And I'm like, oh, wow, this is about to go bad. They're serious. I see it's a robbery. I'm going to cooperate. But they try to beat me, wrestle me, tussle oh, me down wow. to the ground. In the midst of me trying to get away from this, they shoot me twice. I still don't believe every black man is bad. Every time I see yeah, a black yeah, yeah. man, I, I greet him. I yeah, say, yeah, what's up? Yeah. I want to. If you talk to me and tell me what's up, like those two guys, if they would have told me they were struggling, I might have would have gave them a little bit of money or yeah, something like yeah, that or told yeah. them to call me and gave them a resource where they can get on their feet, but they chose violence. But does that mean all of us do that? No. Does that make them harder than me? No. They caught me slipping. They caught me lacking. I'm here to tell the story, but their life is probably still miserable. They didn't win by robbing me and yeah, shooting me. Yeah. And I still kept the watch, but however, I was giving it up. Yeah. I was giving it up and they still shot me anyway. So the violence amongst amongst black people or in the world period like look at ecuador it's under siege oh, did you by see the that? cartel oh the man they, they showed taking over running man, the streets oh, with Uzis dude. and machine guns they showed them on the freeway straight shootouts with the, with the state listen so Damn. how bad is things gonna get 
in America. Wow. Inner yeah, yeah. cities. How yeah, bad will yeah. our inner cities get? Yeah, that was like, straight. They took over what news stations. Yes. They're killing hostages. Offices. Dude, it's, what, it's in a cartel straight cartel versus government. Man, they dress like they're ready for war too. Wow. They all dressed up. But um when I look at some of the crime happening in the inner cities, uh uh uh, Oakland, LA, San Francisco, Detroit, Chicago, certain parts of Florida, but nothing's happening. It's like it's almost a free for all. It's like the government, the local governments can't even control control yeah, what's yeah. going on. So what do we do? Do we take matters in our own hand or not? When does it become a point when we take matters well, in I, our I own Well, I just hand? posted a video on uh, my other platform. I showed in Oakland, the dude came in there with the backhoe. Through the wall, oh, you see that? Wow, that's a viral. Yeah, yeah, that's a viral yeah, yeah. He, he went in there, yeah, and yeah. took the chart, take the ATM machine. I know right where that's, yeah. that place is too, man. And, and, and what will possess somebody to do that? How bad do you got to be doing to do that? How much money? How low you got to be to go take a backhoe, put somebody's life in jeopardy, break through a wall for a damn ATM, man? They don't keep money in them no more, do they? No, they don't have. I mean, not enough to do anything with. Man, come on, man. And then here it is, like, uh, um, I'm, I'm seeing like, uh burglaries robberies you worrying about somebody possibly coming into your house and then you have a ring camera and you think you safe but somebody's still climbing in your window your kids are home i mean i mean when does it come a point yeah. where we just go for what we know when does it get well, to it that showed point? the lady lady in uh texas she had four daughters and the dude um climbed through her window and she's like you know she had already had somebody try to break in and she ended up shooting and killing the dude and then the landlord and them they i think she got evicted because, but she was she had four daughters of course she's a single single mom you know, and these guys like, dude, you talking about, oh, well, he wouldn't. No, he was a bad kid. He was climbing through the windows. You know what I mean? You got to, it's, it's got to be accountability. And it's just like, uh, you know, like you said, Ecuador, you know, the immigration stuff going on right now. They just kicked out all those kids in New York. They couldn't go to school now because they moved the immigrants into the gymnasiums. Wow. Did you see that? I saw that, man. And it's just like, how far does it spiral down before it gets better? I mean, how much more can we take? The governor of Massachusetts talking about if you want to help out, you know, open up your home as a as a uh, as a as a safe a, a, a safe home for these people, immigrants coming over. They need places, dude. You don't know these people. You don't know. Come on, Not man. Open all. you open up your home. You, yeah, you let right. them go stay at your house. Not at all. Put Not bunk beds up in there. Mm -mm. Yeah, ma ma uh, 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 yeah. They, uh, I won't say Massachusetts. She said, open up your home. If you have an extra bedroom, think about those. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. That's to me, crazy. Man. And you're talking about, like you said, they're going hard in Ecuador. You don't know who's coming over here. You don't know, man. Those people want to escape. They want to get to a safe place. They might land in our communities like we don't have enough problems already. I mean, I believe things will get better eventually, but when? Politicians may not be able to save us. I think our communities and people with big platforms could all come together and help reshape <coughs> some of these communities. How could you help those dudes in Oakland who try to rob you? How can you change that? Um. Well, it ha okay. What we plan to do is opening up a resource center. There are resource centers there, but we want to give people actionable skill, uh, a, a skill set that they can take action on and implement what they learn. Um. <clears throat> however, it's like. It's going to take more than just me. Yeah. I mean, I can grab one, three, or five, but if somebody came to me right now, I would give them a few things that they can do right now to at least start generating some money. Yeah, yeah, now, yeah, yeah, yeah. if they're mental, if they have mental issues, the money alone won't help them. And then a lot of people want a lump sum fast. That old school grind up to grind up to boss up is almost non-existent. I know. That's why ro yeah. robbery is like, okay, if I take this guy's Rolex, I can go get five or 10,000 right now. I don't have to put 300, 400, that's 300 right, that's together right, that's right. and get 5,000. If I go work, it's going to take eight checks yeah, to yeah, get yeah, to yeah. save 5K. Yeah. I need the instant gratification. So, I mean, I would try to reinstill the delayed gratification like again you want your seven years to be great or do you want them to be tumultuous because you could take a rough seven year path that'll lead you to prison you're going to take a lot of lives and you might die uh, it, it, it's going to take a lot of it's going to take a lot of trial and error you're going to have to focus and you're going to have to build or you can take the route that might land you in prison or might get you killed I mean, you, either way, it's going to be seven years later and you have a yeah, choice. Yeah. So I know how people say short, make long term, people say make long term and short term goals. 
you have to stick to the script, Big Herc. I mean, you would never be where you are if you gave up. A lot of people give up because it's not happening fast enough. That's right. Like, like you want, I mean, I need it now, man. I need this money now. But when they get it, they still don't do nothing with it. You get the money and you still don't change your dynamics. You're living for the moment, man. I mean, one of the major things that worked for me, I changed my habits. Stop drinking, stop chasing women, stop hanging around people who weren't trying to help me get to a better better spot. Only go to pe only go around people that are smarter than me that I can learn from. Only go around people where it's a reciprocation of, of, of knowledge, energy, resources. Only go around that. Now they call, oh, you a, you a square now. <coughs> oh, you ain't you ain't with the shit no more. I mean, I've heard all of that, but it don't make me feel no kind of way because if I follow your way, I might end up standing in front of the liquor store drinking out the bottle. But if I go this route, I will be able to impact lives like I'm doing now. I'm taking people with me, showing people what I do, giving them the opportunity to make a different decision, not just from Oakland, because now I'm working with people in other urban communities that just want a better life. That's right. Well said, man. Hey, there you have it. Big Herc 916, True Lane Ways, fresh out.